channel hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing another wig review and the wig i will be reviewing is this a bubble wand wig from wig types and this is what the wig looks like in the packaging and this wig did cost me about 30 um dollars 30 35 i'm not really sure exactly how much but i will be putting that in the description box but this is supposed to like mimic almost like um big go-go curls and like a crochet braid or something so i really wanted to try this wig out because i like the way it looked in the picture and i got my wig in the color 1b and this is the packaging like i said before and i'm just going to open it to show you guys what it looks like this is a free tris um wig and when you take it out of the box you'll the wig will look like this and this is what the curls look like initially, as you can see. The wig comes with like a net over it to protect the curls. I'm just going to take that off. Here. And this is what the curls will look like out of the bag. And in the front of the wig, there is lace and it's a hard lace um, it goes from like ear to ear and this is what the lace of the wig looks like the wig has adjustable straps on the bottom right here it has a comb as well and it has two combs in the top of the wig where you can secure it if you would like to secure the wig with the um, combs the wig also has a part you can't really see the part until you look in the inside of the wig you'll see like the part going down here but when you look up close it does have a part that you can um, pluck if you want it to be wider and um, yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to go and cut off the lace of the wig and try it on this is what the wig will look like with no manipulation done to it it's just big bouncy curls and this is the lace obviously um, I really don't like this tight curl look so I'm definitely gonna um, separate the curls when I cut off the lace but this is what it will look like when you try it on without you know doing anything to the curls okay so this is the wig with the lace cut off I have it a little back I don't have it all in the front of my hairline I have it pushed a little back and this is where I could pluck if I wanted to widen the part but I don't think I'm going to do that because the hair is curly and I don't feel like it really needs to have like a defined part but what I am going to do is separate the curls out a little bit because I feel like it looks too like unison and like perfect so I'm just gonna So this is the curl pattern after you, you know, unravel or open up the curls. It's very frizzy. I think that's probably like one of the cons of opening up the curls and the hair itself is that it does get very frizzy. So if you don't like frizzy hair, then this probably wouldn't be a good unit for you. Another thing that I kind of like feel like it's weird about this unit is like I opened up the curls and like it's like like a weird length in the back. Like it's super long at the end right here. And then like when I put the hair to the front of my head, mostly on this side, you can see that the hair is like really, really long. So I'm just gonna like cut the hair so that way it doesn't look so awkwardly long on that side. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that. And to be honest, I feel like this hair is like one of those hair, like pieces that you can only wear to go out mostly because it is kind of like hot right now and I would say that this is more of a fall unit because it is a lot of hair and if you don't like a lot of hair then this won't really be a suitable unit for you because it is a lot of hair and it does make you really hot and um, yeah this is like really all I have to say about the unit I, I really like the way the curls look I just wish it wasn't so frizzy and I feel like the price was a little high for what it is it could be a little bit less but other than that i do like the curls i think it's a, still an affordable price and um the luster is not too bad as well and i like the fact that you have the option to part the hair and yeah so that's pretty much it for this review of this unit if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one bye